Hello, wonderful primary! Welcome to this week's virtual primary. Do you know what holiday is coming up in a couple weeks? Yes. It has to do with our dads. It's Father's Day! So we're going to learn some Father's Day songs this week so that we can practice them next week and then perform them the week after that. So this is the first song that we're going to learn. We have a crack the code to go with it. Got it up right here. So as we sing it, try and figure out what these symbols would mean. Alright, here we go. down here those stand for I and so when we say I not I but you so it starts with I know a name a glorious name so what's something else that you noticed these black dots all stand for the same thing what do we say four times in that first little bit name I know a name, a glorious name. So every time we see a black dot, we're going to say name. Let's say something else that we've noticed. One more thing. How about the triangles? Those stand for father. So we say it once at the, once at the beginning and then two more times down here. Let's sing it through again and see if there's anything else we can figure out. I know one name, a glorious name, dearer than any other. Listen, I'll whisper the name to you. It is the name of Father. Father so noble and brave and true. I love you. I love you. out the very ending there we say it three times I love you so when we see the red heart it's love when we see the you it's you I love you I love you and then at the very end again I love you so what could these stand for NBT we see it again down here so it says father so noble and brave and true so those are the first letters of those words let me say it again Father, so noble and brave and true, I love you. So that leaves one more thing that we're missing. This little squiggly. What does it look like? An ear? I did my best to draw it. So it says, listen, I'll whisper the name to you. So that stands for listening. Let's sing it through one more time now that we know all of the mystery clues. I know a name, a glorious name, dearer than any other. Listen, I'll whisper the name to you. It is the name of Father. Father so noble and brave and true. I love you. I love you. song so don't forget it. We have our little helper again here today. Hi Margo. 
We're going to learn a second song for Father's Day, and I think you all have heard this one, so we're going to learn some actions to go with it. Okay, follow me. again with those hand signs. Next week, we'll mesh them all together and practice for our performance. For our last song, you are going to need a cup. So go find a cup that you can use to make some noise. And now you've got 10 seconds. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Are you back? If not, press pause. All right, grab your cup, and I want you to practice these rhythms. Here we go. You can do it on your lap like this. Oh, sorry, here we go. Top, grab, lap, top, grab, top, grab. Or if you're sitting at a countertop, you can do countertop. Same thing here. Are you practicing with me? Okay, the next rhythm is down, up, down, pass. Down, up, down, pass. A little faster, that one, huh? Okay, do those feel normal? Now we're going to sing a song that I know you all know. So try and sing while you're doing the motions. Just follow me. Do as best you can. We'll practice it a couple times. again. So the army of Helaman, we haven't learned about them in the scriptures yet, or maybe you have. We haven't in our family yet, but they were strong warriors, and they were not much older than all of you guys. They were young, but they had testimonies. 
And so we learned about testimonies last week and how when we share our testimony with others, their testimonies grow. And when we share our testimony with others, our testimonies grow. So it's a win-win situation there. And those stripling warriors had strong testimonies and they grew their testimonies by acting in faith and listening to their mother's testimonies. So we need to remember that this week. And as we sing this song, think about your own testimony and how it's growing as you sing it. Let's do it again. testimonies this week and think about ways that you can grow and share your testimony with others and with your family. Yeah. All right, have such a great week. We'll see you next time.